Hey guys, it's Julie Barrett with Conservative Ladies of Washington here today with your bill of the day for Friday, March 10th. Actually, I've got two bills that I'm going to tell you about today. I testified this morning in the House State Government Committee on two different bills, Senate Bill 5082 and Senate Bill 5208. <laughs> Try to keep that straight. I did get a little bit flustered uh, when I was testifying because I started testifying on one of the bill on the first bill I testified on, and I was concerned that I had transposed and was testifying on the wrong bill. But I got through it. So fifty two zero eight would make um, for online voting easier. And what this would do is you would be able to register to vote on a website and use the last four digits of your social security number to register. What could possibly go wrong? I'm sure you all remember a couple years ago when the State Employment Security Department was hacked and 1.6 million Washington citizens had their social security number stolen. I personally had my wallet stolen out of my car back in the mid 90s and my social security card was in it. And so I've had a fraud alert on my account ever since that time. So I've always been very careful um, with my social security number. And that's a really common thing, right? A lot of people have had their social security numbers stolen or victims of fraud or what have you. So this is definitely a far from safe uh, means of registering to vote and it would probably allow for people to either register on behalf of other citizens or people who maybe aren't citizens and shouldn't be voting might be able to register. Um, it really just does not increase the transparency and security of our elections here in Washington, which many people are already very skeptical of we've had for the last couple of decades with our mail-in voting. Um, and we know that there have been a lot of fraudulent activity, voter rolls haven't been updated, and it's really a hot mess. So opposed to this bill for sure. Again, that's Senate Bill 5208. The other bill I testified on was 5082. And Senate Bill 5082 would abolish advisory votes. And advisory votes were created through an initiative in, I wanna say 2007 or 2008. And this gives citizens an opportunity to make their opinions heard about proposed tax increases and things that are going on in the state legislature. And the argument that I was hearing from the um, prime sponsor of the bill, who is uh, Democrat Senator Patty Cooterer, and many of the testifiers is that taking away the advisory vote will be less confusing to citizens, especially people who are maybe immigrants or English isn't their second language, or they just aren't that educated in civics. And so we need to dumb things down to make it easier so people might not get confused. And what I believe is the real intention of this bill is to not allow um, the voices and the opinions of people with different political viewpoints to be heard by the citizens of Washington state. And many of our citizens in Washington state have no idea what's going on in the legislative process. Most people aren't engaged in the state legislature at all, which is why we do what we're doing is because we want to educate and engage citizens in this process because it is so important. And this is where everything is happening. Um, and so what this would do is would further hide things from the public. Uh, they use the excuse where it's wasting paper. It takes up too many pages. And really, the citizens um, shouldn't be able to uh, vote on taxes anyway. And this is really an opinion vote, but it should tell our legislators how the voters feel about the things that they are doing. And they have passed. Uh, Tim Iman was showed up and was testifying in person. They actually paused the hearing because he wouldn't stop talking. But he brought up a lot of really great points about the tax increases that our state legislature has imposed upon citizens over the last 15 years. It's ridiculous. And in this session alone, there are a ton of bills that would be for tax increases for Washington citizens. And so it is important that we keep these advisory votes. We allow citizens this other means of what's going on. I know there are many citizens who they don't know what's going on until they get their voters pamphlet. And then they're leaping through that, trying to figure out what's up. And so we want to keep that intact. What can you do? 
We had a lot of people sign in in opposition to these bills today, so that was great. If you did that, yay, thank you. Um, but we need you to take this one step further. We need you to email the state government committee. They have executive session on uh, March 15th, so I believe that's next Wednesday, where they will be voting these bills through committee and passing them on to the next step in the legislative process. So we would love it if you would send an email to the members of this committee. I've got their email addresses down below in the description, so you can just copy and paste. Just a few sentences would have an impact and get your point across. It doesn't have to be anything fancy or articulate, just that you oppose the bills and a brief reason why. Um, so if you would do that before March 15th at, uh, I believe it's in the morning, so do that before March 15th in the morning, that will really help. It's really important that even if they're not listening to us, that we are making our voices heard, that we're filling up their email inboxes so that they know that we're engaged and we're paying attention because once they start to understand that and once we're able to be consistent with this for long enough i believe that we can actually impact change in washington so please do that please like and share this video if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel i'm going to be doing these as often as i can to give you guys this information lastly i would ask please join us please become a member of conservative ladies of washington Guys and gals can both join us. Just go over to conservativeladiesofwa.com and become a member today. We have weekly Zoom meetings where we talk about all this stuff, strategize about this stuff. You can get as involved as you want to. If you only have a few minutes, we'll give you tools of what you can do with your limited time and how you can make an impact with limited time. So head over to conservativeladiesofwa.com and become a member today. If you don't wanna be a member, we would love it if you would consider making a donation. We are investing a lot of time and financial resources into that fight, and we need all hands on deck. So thanks for listening. Don't forget to like and share, and I'll see you next time.